And now, for another uh, favorite segment for me is Rotary Heroes. It's when we reintroduce one of our amazing members among us. And past president Tim Bendokas has headed this for me this year. And thank you so much, Tim. You always do such a tremendous job. So I've seen the photos of this Rotary Hero. And trust me, you're going to love this story. So please help me welcome to the podium past president Tim Bendokas. Today, today is all about faith. Faith in family, faith in women, faith in oneself. It's also about our faith, Faith Ireland. Born Faith Ireland, excuse me, born Faith Enyart in Seattle, Faith grew up in a supportive, loving home. After graduating from Highline High School, Faith enrolled at the UW. But <clears throat> sometimes unexpected things happen in life. And at age 22, the young, unmarried undergraduate became pregnant. With the support and guidance of her parents, Faith went to a home for single mothers in Colorado, where she gave birth to a beautiful little girl. Calling it one of the worst things that ever happened in her life, Faith made the extremely hard decision to put the baby up for adoption. To understand the rest of her educational pursuits, we look back and find a young girl watching television. On it, this scary man appeared. Faith thought to herself, if I were a boy, I'd become a lawyer. So after graduating with a degree in political science, Faith fulfilled her childhood dream by enrolling in the Willamette University College of Law. She was one of only two women in her class. JD in hand, Faith entered private practice in 1970, and in 1974, she founded her own firm, Faith Enyard and Associates, specializing in family, personal injury, business, tax law, and criminal defense. Wanting to serve her profession, Faith knocked on the door of the Washington State Trial Lawyers Association. Hearing no answer, Faith decided to kick down that door, figuratively, of course, and became the first female board member of the association. Now, in 1977, it was, it was another life-changing year. While traversing a Utah slope, she met a young man named Chuck Norm. That's not Chuck. <laughs> That's Chuck. Chuck shoosed right into her heart, and they married in 1981. While in private practice, she returned to school and earned a Master of Science degree in taxation from Golden Gate University. Faith was appointed to the King County, uh, the King County Superior Court by Governor John Spellman in 1983 and was elected to the bench, re-elected to the bench four times. Feeling a pull for higher service, Faith ran for a seat on the Washington State Supreme Court in 1994. She finished third, but ran again in 1998, finishing first of seven candidates. <laughs> By 2002, Faith was part of the only state Supreme Court in the nation to have a woman majority. Faith always longed to find her birth daughter of long past, so Faith joined an adoption registry found and joyfully reunited with her daughter, Emily, in 1997. Faith has chosen to speak out about adoption, wanting to help reduce the shame around the issues of adoption and let young people know that you can still be a birth parent, have a successful life and career. Several years ago, Faith was involved in a serious car accident, seeking treatment Faith sought a little more intense form of therapy, power weight lifting. She spent the next 15 years advancing and excelling, ultimately setting 15 world records before retiring from the sport. <laughs> Joining Seattle 4 in 1987, 
Faith became one of our very first female members. I asked Faith why she joined Rotary. Her reasons were simple, service to others and to become part of the community that only Rotary provides. I am in awe of this woman, and for those of you who know her, I know you are too. For those members who haven't yet had the privilege of meeting this remarkable woman, consider this as your invitation to do so. Ladies and gentlemen, Faith Ireland. 